Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. Well, Ethereum also had a great day yesterday. Um, it did find support at the previously mentioned 38.2 Fibonacci retracement level. Um, I think I talked about it in the last video. I think we had touched it already in the last video and this is the ideal retracement, the perfect retracement or the perfect target for a wave four. So it suggests at the moment, especially with the uptick that we've seen over the last few hours, it currently suggests that wave four is over. There is obviously no guarantee yet. We haven't got a breakout to the upside or anything. So it is purely um, at the moment a suggestion. And you can see, well, the, the, the good sign is that we've broken above 1490, at least here once. Now it was not a sustainable breakout, but in the fact that we did move above it, already suggests that yeah wave four could be complete so two point two things happened we had the wave four reaching the 38.2 retracement the perfect retracement area for a wave four or target for a wave four and we've moved higher and broke briefly above the previous high those are good signs what we now need for confirmation is a move above the 1523 level the high that we reached yesterday so at the moment, my view is that a low was in here for ETH already. Yeah, I think it's always important not to FOMO. We talked about it in uh, extensively over the last few days that the third wave to the upside in which Ethereum could be now, um, that this is um, that this is a FOMO wave, the third wave. It just is where sentiment can shift and this is what normally pushes those third waves so strongly because the third wave is normally the most bullish wave in an uptrend. So we've talked about for weeks, we've talked about months, we've talked about that the bear market low could be in for Ethereum down here at $880, that we moved up in a five wave impulse to the upside here to $2,020, and that we came down in an A, B, C pattern in a wave two, which is a corrective wave. It's simply correcting the wave one, the impulse, which goes in the direction of the higher level trend. Um, this is simply correcting this wave one. And because the impulse goes into the direction of the higher level trend, and if this was an impulse from 880 to 2020, then we can at the moment expect or suggest that the bear market low has already been reached because it suggests that the trend has shifted from a downtrend into a high level uptrend. It's a bit too early to confirm that, yeah, but it is currently what I assume especially as long as certain conditions are fulfilled. One of those conditions is that the price holds above the $1,000 level, which it has done here. And we haven't even maxed out this move to the downside yet. This is the um, target area that we expected Ethereum to get into and to reverse out of. It has done that. Ethereum came down into this area down here between 1130 and 1280. We've had many weeks to accumulate. Yeah, I did repeatedly mention that this is an accumulation area. This is the target area where I expect Ethereum to reverse and it finally did reverse yesterday. Um, it is not final confirmation, of course not. You know, not all necessarily steps, not, or not all necessary steps are complete, but it's starting to look good, starting to look interesting. And we've seen volume and we've broken out of the range by pushing above the 1400 US dollar level that is always a good sign, right? If you break out of a range. The $1,400 level was very, very important because it was here this previous high in the range. And um, I told you, as long as we don't break above that level, there is still a risk for one more low. It was not the primary expectation, but it was the risk which was still there, right? And now this risk is gone, which doesn't mean we couldn't suddenly come down again. You know, everything is possible in these markets. The question is always how likely is it and what is the most likely wave pattern that is probably occurring here. And for me, um, it looks at the moment like that we have not only had a bear market low here at 880 already in, it looks for me as well that this wave two low was in and that we in fact reversed in this green reversal area in a beginning of a five wave move to the upside. So just to mention that again, um, view is that this was a wave one, this was a wave two, that this now is a wave three. The wave three in itself consists of five waves, one, two, three, four, five. And in my opinion, we are now in the first wave of the third. And um, this, is, this is a good wave to get confirmation that a low was really in. 
it is the beginning of FOMO really, right? Because it is the first wave of the third. Um, most most bullish movements will be seen in the third wave of the third. So that consequently means that I will, if we push a bit higher here in wave one, I will take some profits around 15 to 1600 somewhere. I'll probably decide that today what I'll do. And then I will accumulate again in the wave two of the wave three with the perspective to rally in wave three of a wave three. Now, I already made you aware that I moved up my stop losses into profit. So anything that happens now, I'm quite happy. Yeah, because I did buy um, and I made you all aware at 12.50, 12.05, 13.30. All of these are currently in profit. I had a very small position uh, already trigger a long position on the way down at I think around 1500. But it was a position that I bought after I took profits at 1700. And it was a very small position. So most of my risk is sitting down here, which is amazing because it is the support area. And actually, at the moment, there is no risk anymore because the stop losses have been adjusted and pushed into profit. So that's sort of how I play this a pullback trader. I would not chase green candles. I'm not doing this. Other people might, you know, um, depends on if you trade breakouts or pullbacks. Um, we talked in previous live streams and, you know, if you're interested in a channel membership, check, check it out on the Sunday live streams. We sometimes talk about strategy and we talked about a possible um, strategy to enter in a wave three. If you've missed, um, if you've missed the lows, there is a possibility to enter in a wave three, but um, yeah, this is not for everybody, of course, you, know, and you need to be highly awake. What you can do in a wave three only, um, you can, and this is no financial advice or anything, right? This is simply what is a possibility and you can use, it doesn't really matter if you use the, the moving average, simple moving average, or if you use an exponential moving average, that, that doesn't really matter. But um, what you can do, you add two moving averages to your chart. And this really only works very well in a wave, um, in a wave three. It, but that, that is why the Elliott waves are so useful because you need to know in which wave you are. Um, So what you do, you use two moving averages, for example, the nine day and the 21 day moving average. You can see the white line is the 21 day moving average. And what you do um, when you've missed the low, you know, but this is really short term trading, right? You do enter when they cross bullish. Yeah. So for example, you had a bullish cross here. And um, by the way, this is not the daily moving average. Uh, this is the um, period moving so around the one hour chart, one hour period moving average, um, the nine period moving average on the one hour and the 21 period moving average on the one hour. Um, and this was a long cross here where the shorter time frame moving average crossed or the shorter period moving average crossed above the longer period one. That's a bullish cross. This is an entry point. Exit point hasn't occurred yet. This would be the other way around, yeah. But it only works in in wave three, um, so it would have worked out nicely. Looking back at this, right? So here was an entry point. These are sort of the things we talk about in the live streams: entry here, exit here. Yeah, would worked out. Would have worked out. You wouldn't have picked the highest point, but it would have worked. Um, then here you've got a bit of a whatever, yeah. Um, but then here again, you know, maybe a little loss and then massive gain here in this move to the upside, but it hasn't crossed yet. So when it crosses again, this would then be the sell point, right? So this is sort of, um, but you wouldn't even have had a loss because you would have um, sold here basically. Yeah. And then you would have entered here again. So this is sort of one possible way to trade uh, if you missed the boat, but only it works only in a wave three because the wave three has a lot of, let's say juice in it. Um, I wouldn't try this in any other waves. And um, I mean, what, I'm saying here, if I say we are in a wave three, we are in a higher level wave three, so it should work. But again, bearing in mind here, this is at some point going to get exhausted anyway. Um, so my strategy is taking profits rather and then entering again in wave two. So this is all looking good at the moment. Um, if we zoom in, yeah, for Ethereum, you can see that we hit the target area. Obviously we are reversing for now, no confirmation yet. First of all, we need to break above that, yeah, previous high, which is at um, 1499 roughly. 
and then confirmation would be obtained above 1524. Um, looking good so far, this could be the beginning of something further to the upside, but um, this could also, and we don't know that yet, it could just move sideways for a bit, consolidating as part of a triangle pattern. Uh, maybe later we will know more. If it breaks above this high now and then pushes above 1525, 1524, this is the breakout. If it comes down, makes another higher low, makes a lower high, then it will probably be just a triangle pattern which will consolidate. Also, that would be called and considered a bullish consolidation, however. Okay, I'll keep you updated about Ethereum. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.